Well, Third Ward is home to many churches, including several large churches, but perhaps few are more closely identified with the Third Ward than Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church, which has been in that community for nearly 60 years. And thanks to new construction, the Avenue, as it calls itself, is building an even larger presence in the Third Ward. I sat down with the men who are making it happen. Wheeler Avenue has been a part of Third Ward, um, and Third Ward has been a part of Wheeler Avenue. As a kid, I, I enjoyed being here. Alexander Johnson grew up at Wheeler Avenue. He never dreamed he'd become associate pastor. It's a privilege. We feel like there's a sense of responsibility that we have to this community. Founding pastor Bill Lawson was head of the Baptist Student Union at Texas Southern University when friends and neighbors urged him to start a church for students and young families. Yes, we will go ahead. We will not be stopped. It became much more when Lawson became involved in the civil rights movement in the 1960s. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. visited when some larger black churches shunned him as being too radical. And here I was with no more to offer than this little white frame church. He came into that, that little church and preached at that little pulpit. The first home for Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church was a small white frame building that seated a couple of hundred people. Then in 1985, we moved into this building. It seats about 1,100. And now, welcome to 2020 and a brand new expanded version of Wheeler Avenue that will seat three times as many. When you come to Wheeler Avenue, you get embraced uh, by a community of brothers and sisters. While the new huge building goes up, the old building has been empty since March with services online. But other services go on as they always have, this time for those hurt by COVID-19. Because we're blessed with such resources, we have to be a part here uh, of this place called Third Ward. For Lawson, it's simple. I love Third Ward. We knew that this was a special opportunity, uh, virtually a special calling for us to start a church in this neighborhood. Well, as you probably guessed, this story is particularly close to my heart because this is my church and that founding pastor, that's my dad. But I'd like to think that our church, like so many others out there, has been a good neighbor and a real lifeline to so many who have needed so much during this pandemic.